Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is going to be about photograve and how easy it is to get it onto a photograph. Onto this one particular is going to be on black granite tile. So I took this photo and I put it on black granite just a little few minutes ago. The picture does it no justice. I mean, in the on the tile you can actually see this gentleman's individual hairs, the reflection off the balloons. I mean, it it is dead on sharp. So this is going to be a two-part video, and I'm going to state right now I am no expert in photograve. So if you see I do something wrong, please leave it in a comment so we can all learn. I have been using it for about 10 years. But anyway, you need to go to Photo Paint. And if you don't know where Photo Paint is, it's under different versions, have different launchers. But I'm going to go to Photo Paint, and I'm going to go to Image. And I'm going to convert it to a grayscale. And I'm just going to hit OK. Now we have a grayscale image and we're going to save it. Save as, under pictures, we're going to save it as Photograve 5. I just had a little computer problem a while ago. And press Save. Now you need to wait around just a minute before you close out the screen and, and press OK. Now we can go to Photograve. And we'll open that up and go to open image and we're going to type in this is how easy it is photograph 5 press open it'll load the image takes just a second it's a it's a really neat program uh, it's once you get it down once you've converted to a grayscale um, and normally I, I actually call that picture, I call it the same as the original image, but I type in the word gray after it just so I'll know. So we're, it's bringing in the image. Now we're going to select our material and we're going to go on black granite. So you just press OK. Then we need to go to resize the image. This is a really big image, but we need it 300 dots per inch. So type in 300. And then make it the shape you want. And I'm going to go 8 by 12. And I'm going to hit OK. Now there is an interactive mode. And I have played around with it on some buildings and stuff. But, um, and that will be another video. But anyway, just then just hit final process. And it's processing it. And, and this is stuff you can do inside of Corel Draw. But... And then all you have to do is, is uh, but it does it for you, and just save the image. And it's going to save it as engraved. And we're going to call it Photograve, and it types in Engrave. And then just hit OK. Now, we're going to go back to CorelDRAW, and we're going to import that image. And right there is, I must have saved it. Yep, it saved it under my little disk I've got driven, or a thumb drive. So just impress, impress uh, import. Now, if you look at that, you're going to go, there's no way that's going to work. All right, I'm going to stop the video and, and make another video on how to take this picture to your laser. And I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.